Good afternoon. Oh my ma, what a day. Who's in the house? Let's see. Oh my my. Look at this. Look at this, everybody. Ethan, hello. We'll get you on the screen first, Ethan. Let's let it breathe a little bit, though. Let everybody trickle in on a Thursday afternoon, December 8th. Unbelievable. What a great day. Beautiful day. Whoo. Oh, my, my. All right. Let's do it actually now. Uh, usually I ask where you're watching, but let's start here. Well, how was your run today? All right. As we let it breathe a little bit here. And yes, Ethan in the house. Come on, Ethan. Welcome to the members. Oh, my, my. Thank you, Ethan, for becoming a member. Ethan, now you have emo you have access to all of the emojis, all right? All the goodness. Give a little smile out there, all right? So colon smile, colon welcome, welcome Ethan to the memberships. Hope everybody's doing well, but how was your run today? Okay. And if you care to share, there it is. The shoe, all right. What shoe did you run in? I was in the Solomon snow spike all right you could probably imagine how that was or what uh, type of run i was doing today solomon snow spike you can see the, all the details over on discord no over on disc over on strava here we go david's in the house welcome david hope you're having a great afternoon and actually let me put this on the screen now we've got a little bit of a new live sc stream schedule let me see if i can slow that down a little bit don't know if I'll be able to. There we go. All right, just a little slower. Holy smokes. There we go. All right, everybody. Jacob's in the house. Really good. Third run in my high school track training block. Very good, Jacob. I uh, love to hear that. Scott says, no run today. Still resting for from CIM. Scott, how did it go? We celebrated races from this past weekend amongst uh, everybody in DGR, and I didn't realize that you were in CIM, how did it go? Let us know. Oh, uh, good to see you. Cheers from Norway, onward and upward. Join in from far away, Denver. Very good, Benjamin. Oh, my, my. Tommy's in the house. Good to see you, Tommy. I like that. Uh, I like that icon you got going there, Tommy. Actually, I will come back to that in a minute. All right, Jacob is here. Jacob ran in the Zoomex Invincible. So sorry that, um, um, so sorry that I am missing some comments here. So Scott brings up a good point. Glad to see the racing t-shirt. I may opt for this one. Just so you know, Scott, the real one is going to be much better. All right. This is a company that I tried to work with, uh, but it didn't work out. The ink that they use is very cheap ink, and I didn't know that. So we're going high end. Actually, there it is. All right, all right. In case you haven't, uh, you can check it out um, on Run Sign Up if you're interested. Speaking of running gifts, so oh my my, that's what we're talking about today. Thanks for bringing it up, Scott. Uh, the DGR Distance Classic registration is live. All right, where you can pick up a DGR Racing singlet uh, for forty dollars if you register for the race. So twenty eight dollars savings, twenty eight dollars savings, and if you want a T-shirt. So, Scott, some people like to race in singlets. That was the question of the day a couple days ago. Some people like to race in singlets. Some people like to race in T-shirts. Anyway, just so you know, this is not uh, the final product. It's, uh, But I'm still going to wear it. You know what I mean? Oh, my goodness. Okay, here we go. All right, so thank you for that. Okay, here we go. 42 minutes at 140. Ooh, Brent. There's an insider joke on Discord about 141 beats per minute. So you almost hit it there, Brent. Good to see you, Brent. Here we go. PR at CIM. It was a great race, says Scott. Very cool. Brendan, uh-oh. My goodness, sir. Oh, man. Everyone, go check out Brendan's uh, YouTube channel if you have a chance at some point. 25 months as a member. Man, you you demand, sir, and you. I know you've had a busy uh, th past three or four months, so so good to see you in here, and thanks for being a, a loyal member of the channel. Brandon, man, love that. Jim, today, uh, no run for Laura in the house. Let's go. No run today for Brandon. Okay, for me, family life came first today. There you go. Tomorrow we grind. Amen, amen. Getting out there. Let's see. S. Brendan, I think, did you say Finland or Norway snowed 30 centimeters last night? So for my part, it's indoor running the next days. 
Now, 30 centimeters. Let me do a little, little, little about. In, <laughs> I'm trying to translate that into is it. What are we looking at? Uh, somebody help me out. What are we looking at? 30 centimeters. All right. Oh, and Alex. Here we go, Alex. Celebrating 16 months of membership. Welcome, Alex. Welcome. Okay. So here is the deal. Um, pretty broad topic. Oh, it'll probably evolve into a AMA like we did a couple days ago on the vlog. Ask me anything. But who has, all right, put this on the screen. Um, who has, who is buying a present for a running friend or a running family member? And what did you buy? Okay, that's the question of the day for the live. So like you're gifting something to a runner and think uh, you whatever you got. And if you have ideas, share in the live stream. Obviously, you know, you know, some idea, get some ideas percolating as we uh, get a little closer into this. Okay, Stephen says 30 centimeters, about 12 inches. Thank you, Stephen. Appreciate your your work there on the math. Okay. Um, let's see. Very good. AJ love that shoe. So I guess I'll just show you guys right now as I wait for your ideas to stream into the live stream, a box showed up, a box showed up. Yes, indeed. So this is not going to be available till, um, spring 2023. All right. But it's percolating on the interwebs. I was pretty excited about it. The challenger ATR seven. Challenger ATR7. There it is in all its wild colorway glory. All right, from Hoka. And I got to say, immediately out of the box, they're saying, like, I'm seeing a little bit of marketing on it, and they're saying maybe it's like a, a trail shoe that can act like a road shoe, is kind of the, the pitch I'm seeing out there. Uh, let's see. So I'm very excited, but what really caught my attention was the heel counter. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I mean, Hoka is not messing around when it comes to the heel pocket. In fact, there's some people, there's some runners in DGR that don't like a deep heel pocket, and at least not as deep as this one. So anyway, can't buy this yet for Christmas, but it is coming spring 2023. All right, here we go. Okay. Lock Farm says running stores, gift cards. Hey, nothing wrong with a gift card, right? Uh, get everybody... You know, let them get what they want. Uh, put it in a, a little card there. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, yeah, and I did want to give just a couple shout-outs to – hold on. There it is right there. You guys know who you are. Okay, decide I'm going to do a full year running streak starting December 6th. Wow, the real Chris Kelly. Is that a gift to yourself, Chris? Uh, so how you doing? You're 6th, 7th, 8th, three days in. That's exciting, Chris. I like it. I like the determination and the uh, accountability. There's something about consistency in running where they just, it's like you just get in that rhythm and you don't get out. So, Chris, I like the way you roll there. Good, uh, good idea there. Okay, Tommy says, I am getting my daughter, Aubrey, a viscous headlamp and a, he and a light-up vest. Very cool. Now, is it the vest that is really bright? I think I've never owned one. It's intriguing. It obviously catches the attention when you see it outside at night. But um, there is it. Is it from that same company, Vis Visus? I'm not sure. I can't remember it. But many, I know many of you have seen it. Uh huh. Do 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 do. Let's see. Uh, Scott says I'm getting my friend's light vest. Nice. Oh, there we go. This is a theme. I like it actually. So you all know I love the waist belt for especially for trail running, but this is the weight. Ooh, it's kind of bright. From Ultra Aspire, this is their old version. I think this one is 600 lumens, but I think they have wow, that is really bright. They they have one that's 800 lumens now. So I love this one. I've talked about it a lot on the vlog because it goes around your waist, and I'm putting it on right now, but you're not gonna be able to see it. And it shines the light like right in front of your feet instead of out, which you know headlamps. It's on your head. So I just I love this Ultra Aspire. Anyway, it is listed on demoreglobalrunning.com backslash gear in case you want to check it out. In fact, I should probably put that link somewhere on the screen so what other ideas do we got going percolating around let's just put it on right there right there so go to you click on gear off of the website there to more global running dot dot com okay here we go ah scott says knox gear light vest okay 
Um, let's see. Uh, Alex says, Nova Blast 2 for my wife as her first running shoes. Very cool, Alex. Love that. Um, ooh, and I love the Nova Blast 2. If I had to say, I love the ones, but the ones gave me blisters. So out of all three, I think the two is my favorite. So good choice there, Alex. I like your style with that. Now, um, I did not ask, actually. Let's see. Where's DGR tuning in from around? Oh, can I do this? Where's, oh yeah, nice. We got the new logo. There we go. Oh my goodness. All right, and if you're just tuning in, welcome. We're talking about gifts for runners, okay? You know, no matter where you're at around the world, just gift ideas for runners if you care to share in the uh, stream. Okay, let me just see here. Oh yeah, and I gotta say, I didn't think I was gonna convert completely, but sure enough, it looks like I've converted to shocks open run if you like to i love to listen to audiobooks and uh you know podcasts i don't really listen to music but i just like to learn when i'm out there running for hours and hours and so the shocks open runs are treating me very very well i did a full review on these a couple weeks ago so shocks open run headphones right there they just uh, allow you to hear the traffic around you so i think it's a pretty cool idea indeed okay uh, let's see. I know I saw that Brandon that uh, Killian is promoting that, but I looked at the prices, so it, they look pretty amazing, right, Brandon? Um, because they're so bright, so bright, it looks amazing. But you know, it's a good chunk of change that they're asking for for those headlamps. But yes, moonlight. I did see some of that marketing going around. Um, let's go. Let's go. I'm just trying to stream through these comments here. Let's see. Ooh, good uh, good observation, Laura. Good to see you, Laura. Uh, I got the Knox Gear Tracer 2 vest. I really like it. Mmm, nice, nice, nice. Okay, Knox Gear Tracer 2. Mmm, yeah, I think it's good. It's good uh, just to be seen out there, to be to be visible. You know what it is? It's not even, I'm a, yes, it is the cars. You don't want to get hit by a car. It's almost like the bikes and... You know, even like you got to be a little careful with electric uh, cars because they're a lot quieter. There's just like a lot of things outside of even just the normal uh, ones. Uh, you know, they're not. That's a good question. Uh, uh, Smug Nico, they, these headphones are not uncomfortable. It's interesting. They just wrap around the ear and let's see. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, boy. <laughs> see, old 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 school uh, headphones are getting so yeah they just wrap around I don't know if you can see that but the glasses I would say I don't know I've never noticed like the glasses getting in the way or that they yeah they have it hasn't bothered me but good question and welcome I don't recognize your name as much so welcome thanks for tuning in and let's see okay there we go. I wear glasses and have had no issues with my shocks. Good to know. Uh, Dan says, hats are always welcome gifts. Got to get to work. Just checking in to get ideas for gifts. Uh, sickly, I uh, quickly, <laughs> peace. Dan, thanks for tuning in quickly. Um, mm, Dan, I mean, so I did make a vlog. Did you all see it two weeks ago about Christmas gift ideas? Dan, I bet you watched it. You watch most of the vlogs, Dan, if not all of them. So thank you, Dan. And... Oh my goodness. I tried, you know what? I tried to think outside the box this year a little bit. For example, you don't have to give a physical gift. You could do the, um, do the, uh, where you go cruise somebody for an entire weekend. You know, if let's say their dream is to run a 100K or a 100 miler or even a 50 miler, but you're just there all day or all weekend and you say, you know what? I know this has been your goal for a long, long time. I want to crew your entire weekend or whatever the case may be. If maybe it's just one day, which is still great. And because it's a big deal, you know, to find somebody to crew you and to commit the time to make it happen. So that was an idea that I put at out there. Okay. Cheryl says worked an aid station at a hundred mile run last weekend. And a lot of people had the Coagala waste lights. I've never heard of them. Very cool, Cheryl. I don't know what that is. Uh, maybe somebody in the audience can uh, talk to that, but I do not know what that one is there. Excuse me. All right, here we go. Uh, let's see. Oh, appreciate it. Appreciate it. Watching for a year now. I do appreciate that. 
Um, let's see. The real Chris Kelly says, just join the DGR group on Strava. Follow along on my running streak. There you go, Chris. Uh, Freddie says, neck warmers and underlayers are a must uh, for the current climate. Always go down well in the UK. Very good. Good ideas there. Yeah, neck warmers. Um, man, it's so fascinating. Running gear is is interesting. I, as you know, I like to run all the time, and I like to run in all the elements. And yeah, neck warmers, neck gaiters. Uh, plus a hat or just a, a hood from the jacket. That's usually my strategy. Um, yeah. So, Freddie, thanks for tuning in from the UK. And let's uh, let's do it. I didn't actually officially ask if you're st- if you're here right now. Where are you watching from around the world? All right, type it in real quick. I like to always see like where's everybody watching from. A lot of viewers in the UK. Um, yes, Dan. Very very good, Dan. Um. Let's see. And yes, actually, let's do that here in a second. Um, in one second here. Let me make sure I'm not missing any chats really quickly. So I'm trying to think. Oh, yeah, a unique one. All right. So, uh, you know, running shoe geeks out there. All right. Wave, wave, <laughs> raise your hand on in a lot of places, but definitely on Amazon. You can buy a scale. Mine is sitting over there, unfortunately. So, I, well, okay. Hold on. Let me grab it. Hold on. This was like, I think this was like $18, maybe $15. It's a CUDA link. It's how, you know, one of the ways I, I uh, raise or I weigh the shoes. And it's just kind of fun to, you know, geek out about shoes a little bit. And, you know, maybe there's a runner in your life that really likes running shoes. And maybe they're a size 13 and a half. And they want to start to learn, okay, what's the difference between a tempo and a race day and an easy day shoe in my size with respect to weight? So you could buy them a scale. And it's just fun. It's just like a little tiny scale that you can buy really anywhere. So there you go. Okay, let's see. Let's get a lot on Richmond, Virginia. Very good. Uh, Gainesville, Florida. Very cool. I've been to Gainesville. It's a good spot. Uh, Home of... Uh, the late Tom Petty, I do believe. Love Tom Petty. My strategy is shirt and shorts all year round. UK here. Whoa, Lindsay, you are tougher than me. Coastal Delaware. There we go. I love that. Watching from Little Rock, Arkansas. Okay. Not in the island, islands? At Little Rock, Arkansas. Okay, all right. You you let me know what you're... Uh, you're not in the islands, maybe, for now. Very good. Um, okay, Salt Lake City. Very good. California, Bradford, PA. Hello from Michigan. What's up, Matt? Good to see you, Matt. Onward, onward, onward. Okay. Um, okay. Oh, my, my. Congratulations, Tommy. We'll do a little bell for that. There it is. There it is. I like it, Tommy. I like it. Enjoy the warm weather down there. Um, okay, questions. So we'll keep the ideas coming for um, gifting ideas, but any questions for me? Maybe you asked in the AMA, they asked me anything vlog from you know, three or four days ago. No, I guess it was probably six days ago, but I answered it two days ago, and maybe I did not... Um, maybe I did not get to your question in the comments. There was a lot of them. I got to about 20 of them in that vlog, but maybe you have some questions for me right now and, uh, let it fly in the live stream chat and I will do my best to get to as many as possible. Um, mm. you know, Benjamin, that's a good point. I haven't noticed that too, too much, but I guess that is part of their design is so you can hear everything around you. So you might be able to hear the wind at times. That's a good point there. Benjamin, appreciate you, Benjamin, making that point. Um, okay. Oh, there we go, Carter. I appreciate this. Got to love those crossover symmetry bands. Makes a great package with uh, with the workout card. Carter, that's a good point. I'm actually looking at one right over there. Um, man, great bands. There's bands to help strengthen your hips, your glutes, your... Uh, you know, your lower legs, and you can use it for so. So, Carter, good reminder symmetry, crossover symmetry, b- symmetry bands uh, to help avoid injury. Right, Carter? Okay. 
Uh, let's see. Together we run. Hello from New York City. I got into Berlin and so excited. Wow. So you're going to do Berlin and then New York. That is exciting indeed. Very exciting. I love it. So we're definitely going to be doing a group run, group meetup in Boston next year. And then also in looking like Chicago. There's a lot of runners over in Discord who got into Chicago today. Raise your hand. Did you get into Chicago today? All right. Let us know. Um, yeah, let us know. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Oh, my, my. Let's see. Why do I tend to get sinus issues, sneezing, and runny nose after all of my runs? You know, that's it. Oh, I don't know. But you know what? I mean, in the wintertime, I don't know any runner's nose that isn't runny, right? I mean, so, but oh, that is not... I don't know. I'm sorry. That's not. It's a little outside of my wheelhouse. But trust me, my I have a runny nose as well. Um. Okay. Dorothy, good question. So Dorothy's asking. I purchased a T-shirt, but actually, let me get to Louise first to make sure I don't get uh, lost here. Here we go, Louise. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the members. And Louise, now you can use all the emojis in the chats below the vlog, here in the live stream, and hop over to Discord. Oh, it'd be great to get you in there, Louise. If you've never used Discord, it's a live chatting. Uh, yeah, it's live chat where we can talk about marathon training, nutrition, uh, life, pets. We talk about everything under the sun. Of course, running shoes. Luis, welcome to the DGR members. That's exciting. Okay, Dorothy. Uh, yes, you can buy a singlet as well. All right, Dorothy. So you just go back on to, where is it? Run sign up and you can do the singlet. There we go. So just hop over to that run sign up and they are still there uh, to get the singlet. All right. So yes, indeed, you can still do the singlet and the t-shirt. Oh, man, it's going to be fire. 2023 Boston is going to be good. Everybody get ready. Buckle up. Um, okay. Yes, very good. Okay. I mean, Freddie, I use the Invincible Run Flyknit 2 to come back from an injury. Uh, it just, you know, I just, it's just a lot of Zumex underfoot. And it worked out pretty well because I'm healthy now and Moving right along in the training. So I use the Invincible Run Flying It 2 from Nike. Um, oh, and you say, I haven't worn anything. I would I would do the Invincibles. I mean, but I guess maybe you're thinking beyond the Invincibles. I'm not sure, Freddie. Um, gosh. Yeah. You know, maybe the Nova Blast 3 because it's got a little more cushion under step this year. Uh, I'm just looking at all the shoes over there. Hmm. And again, I don't know what injury you are dealing with, but anyway, the invincible comes to mind right now. Okay. Cheryl says, yeah, Chicago running for the third time. Smug Nico. So I don't have an official measurement chart, uh, but I did go true to size and the singlet fits great. All right. So I went true to size. You know, if you've worn a singlet in the past, um, questioning whether to go with medium or large based on chest measurement. Okay. Yeah. Mm. So, good question. You know what? Shoot me an email, and I'm, I will get to the bottom of this, all right? Um, it might take me a little bit of time, but I will try to get to the bottom of that. And as, I guess I'll just say there's men's cut and women's cut, men's cut and women's cut for the T-shirt and the singlet, T-shirt and the singlet, okay? But shoot me an email, info at demoreglobalrunning.com. Sorry if I'm missing some comments, trying to get to as many as possible. Um, you know, uh, Lock Femme, uh asks, I have IT band injury recently. Any advice to recover soon, Seth? Um, so from what I've learned for, with a lot of injuries, but I would recommend, but see your physical therapist, you know, talk to your doctor. But for me, it's all about strengthening the hips. I know it's, I know your, your IT band, I don't know where your pain is at. Usually it's like right on the outside of your knee, but there's a good chance that your hips are weak and your glutes are weak. Okay. So my PT is always talking about strengthening the hips and the glutes because it impacts everything uh, below. All right. But do seek out 
your doctor. Um, but that's where the crossover symmetry bands come into play. I wish I could go grab it, but it's over there. Uh, the crossover symmetry brand, band. And uh, again, go to the, um, yeah, go to the the gifts. Uh, <laughs> I made a vlog two or three weeks ago, and they are in there all about gifts for runners, okay? Crossover symmetry bands, okay? There we go, Meredith. Welcome to the tail end. Appreciate you. Um, let's see. All right. Any other questions? Uh, Michael, I think I missed your question. Seth, I just recently got a pair of Saucony Ride 15. I'm running my first marathon this coming January. Would you recommend wearing the Ride 15s for this race? Oh, my goodness. Um, it's your first marathon, and gosh, I don't know. Um, I mean, it will do the trick. It wouldn't be my first choice, I will say. And the Ride 15s, I'm trying to imagine. Gosh, okay, I will throw one out at you, Michael. <laughs> the Triumph 20, everybody. It's going to be an amazing shoe. Okay. Like, as soon as I started testing the shoe, I was, oh, I said, okay, this could be a great long run shoe or simply a, a marathon half marathon shoe if you don't want to go carbon fiber plate it's a smidge heavy don't get me wrong for racing but oh my goodness i am loving the Saucony triumph 20 so michael um ride 15 wouldn't be my first choice but maybe check out the triumph 20 okay but listen it's your first marathon my advice is always to just enjoy the the process of racing doesn't mean you have to go break the bank all right if you're confident you can get through 26.2 in the ride 15 do it brother all right you know you don't need to be spending 500 dollars. that's why we're runners we're not we're not iron man people we're not we're not uh trying to cycle across the country it's like let's keep it simple keep it simple okay here we go um all right okay i actually am gonna sign off pretty quickly um oh yeah yes slant board exercises are good for it band runner's knee i'm doing them myself a hundred percent oh man that's a great thank you um for that reminder hundred percent i have my slant board right over there if you don't know what a slant board is check it out it's actually on the website demoreglobalrunning.com and then click on gear okay and you'll find it there good reminder there appreciate you all inspirato runner hello tuning in appreciate you would appreciate some tips uh to great shoes for the treadmill i mean i don't think okay i'm just gonna say i don't think you need to buy separate shoes for the treadmill obviously you don't want to run in you know you know trail shoes but just like whatever road shoe that you use out on the road it's it's gonna be okay i don't know if it's if you're worried about like the grip or I don't know, or you're worried like about beating the treadmill up too much, but I'm, um, I'm a pretty big fan of, well, I don't run on the treadmill too, too much, but I don't think you have to change your shoes, your road shoes to the treadmill. You know, maybe I'm wrong. I, again, I'm not a huge treadmill guy, but maybe somebody else could help Brendan if you think it's important to do that. Okay. Um, very, very good. Sebastian, there's no such thing as bad weather, just bad clothing. So I've actually made two or three vlogs all about winter running gear, all right, what I do. And again, Canada is probably even way colder than Colorado. So you got to take it with a grain of salt. But I've, I've made two or three, so go to the homepage and you can check that out. Love y'all. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, gift ideas. Watch the replay if you want some more ideas or watch the live stream chat. Onward we go. Have a great Friday wherever you are around the world. And we will see you tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. Sound good? All right. As I always say, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.